Hello you pathological liars, Jim Sterling here and this is Goddess Wars. It's a new game in the Goddess universe. You know, that universe that isn't feature complete because the original Goddess isn't finished yet. But they put this one up, so that's good. It's a real time, it's basically, it's like Goddess but with some gameplay. So it's got one up on its predecessor. It's a real time strategy game uh, with the mechanics of the God game genre. They say it's fun, simple and brutal. So here we are, it's in early access right now, I'm giving it a go. This is from 22 Cans, of course, Peter Molyneux's outfit. And here we go. Goddess Wars, right. Uh, the a whole world awaits you, ready for the taking. Is this sound? Ah, oh, there it is. Had my uh, volume right down, so there is some music going. Uh, sorry, let, let's continue. A whole world awaits you, ready for the taking, but if you are to succeed in this epic task, you'll need some help. Choose one of the deities to represent you on the field of godly battle. Click on the portraits to learn about each deity, their starting powers and personalities. Right, what we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got Pharos, the irrationally aggressive, consumed by an overwhelming need to destroy, the burn and devour, the glory of death. So this is all battle stuff. What's more, us? Power hungry. Uh, the power grant most followers unwavering belief. So that's all divine power. Ishtar, revelry in excess. Now I like where we're going with this one. A deity of extreme passions, nothing of tranquility and peace, uh, wild abandon, burning devotion and revelry. Uh, pity those that don't embrace Ishtar. Okay, so that's Slanesh basically. Okay, let's uh, see what Sylvanas is. The pedantic gardener. Pfft, fuck that. We're going with revelry in excess. Okay. I see Peter Molyneux started talking to the press again after he said he wouldn't. Uh, mostly to promote this and briefly mention that other game, The Trial, I think. Um, he said he wasn't going to talk to the press anymore, no more interviews. He said that about a year ago, no more interviews. Uh, I'm done with all of that because I'm going to do a cry because people have cottoned on to my bullshit. Uh, and now he's back. Anyway, here you can see your progress as you conquer the planet continent by continent. Your deity is always displayed on the left. Current key and card total. Current opponent is on the right. Morrigan-ear. Uh, this is the deity that currently controls the continent. Does not recognise your right to roll. Right. Next. Capture every land to conquer the continent. Your territory is marked blue. Your opponent's red. To attack lands must first be unlocked with keys. Click on a land to see details about its unlock cost and rewards. New lands can unlock. Right. Gotcha. To start your battles, click on the first land here. Or do you mean that one? There. Hagdot Cliffs. Right. And I... Do what with it? Or maybe they did, it was this one. <coughs> Unlock, right. That's what that key's for. Right, attack. Here we go. I shall be victorious. Cool. Uh, God, that's a lot of info on the screen. Um, it's time to prepare for battle. Your starting belief, belief cap, and followers can be seen in the bottom left. Boof. Belief, belief cap, followers. Gotcha. Your opponent is displayed on the right. Belief cap, followers. Okay. You may choose up to four cards to take into battle. Simply drag the cards onto the blue slots on the left. There are four different types of cards shown under their own tabs. Bonus cards are consumed. The others you keep can use again. Right. We've got one. Oh, sorry. I've got to click on that. Right. So, long bows. That's our troop buffs. Bonus cards. Starting followers plus 12. Right. So, I can put them in there. But if I use this, they go away. But I kind of need it for a fight, don't I? I guess. Grain trip buff sends to the combustible pancake. The people who worship the rather sticky maple syrup god. Oh, that's irreverent. Right, to battle! Uh-oh, game rules. What are you throwing at me here? Half belief from abodes. Okay. All right. Oh, something's popped up on my screen. Oh. God, what the hell's good? Okay, my screen completely flipped out on me there. It was doing some weird god, like some pop-up box for goddess appeared in my browser and, and overtook everything. In fact, I'm probably out of sync with the audio and visuals now thanks to that. So, thanks goddess, I'm going to have to fucking deal with that now. Loading screen, come on, where are we? Just, uh... Just wait patiently, I guess. Oh, 
There's a little flash there on the mouse cursor. A little flash of activity. Here we go! That was quite a lengthy loading screen. The Battle of Grain Trick Bluff. Uh, how can I help you? Oh, my loads are look pointy. Oh! Oh, I've been, uh... Something's trying to happen on, on browsers again. Awaiting outcome. What? Oh, wait, no. Sorry, there was a second screen down here. Well, that's convenient. This is going to be a fucking mess to edit. Can I make this full screen, please? Oh, my God. What now? Now my screen's black. Right. Okay, have you calmed your fucking tits down? Right, we're in the game again. I'm not even going to describe the bullshit that's been going on. So, anyway, right. Click the Citadel. Train some archers. Cool. Your warband is forming. It will appear when ready. Mm-hmm. What's that? That little bit of information. Okay. Okay. Grass hut. Grass hut. So we can do all the god shit, shaping the world and all that. Ooh, wee. Went for it up here already. So I'm just watching these little fellas here. Little archers, making them run around. They're uh, on their way here. And they're just attacking this building now. That's burning down. And they've made a lot of blood come out of that person. So we're gonna do the same here. Yeah. Just just brutal. Brutal, horrible behaviour. Gonna do it again though. So, there we go. We won! Hooray! How exciting for us. Okay. What have I won? Key. And a forced march thing. Next battle. Right. Now let's move to a new battle. Click here. Right, it would be easier to... Right, all the fucking pop-ups get on my friggin' wick. Okay, attack. I said, right, no, attack. A lot of style over functionality as well. All the swinging signs and shit when I just want to click on things. Plop. Plop. That's it. To battle! Okay, what are our game rules? Flammable trains. Exciting. Okay, Badger Hook Lane. Here we go. So that's the enemy place. Here's the... I guess our place. Sculpt flat area for more abodes. You got it, dude. Get rid of these trees. Click, 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 click. Right. Go on, piss off, piss off. All of it, scrub away. Ah! Oh yeah, don't even have to click on them. Just, just pull them like that. No more trees, thanks. I don't like the controls for the thing. It's just so... imprecise. It just, it feels messy. Okay, so got to build ourselves a citadel. Try and talk properly. A citadel. Hoot. They got a warband training, and then I guess we'll just send the warband out to shoot those people, and that'll be it. Mission done. Well, once we've destroyed all this as well. I suppose. Takes its sweet time, of course. It's 
not a lot going on, is it? Like, this is just boring. <laughs> I can't make any more. Objective guns, select your weapons. Yeah, I'm way ahead of you. Kapow! Yes. Activate your citadel squishing power. What does an F500 thing is, do I? So, I can't. So you're just gonna have to keep this little pop-up going. Oh, here we are, an exchange of blows. And, yeah, we won. Hooray. Alright, I'm already, on, I'm already on to it. Enemy belief vault, capture it and win. Simple. Yeah, doing a little dance around it. More waiting. That was one other thing. I mean, that's what the first goddess was all about. Like, I spent most of it just waiting, doing nothing. Another reason why I didn't fucking uh, play it very much. So I was trying to think of the next part of the sentence I'd started. Fucking hell. Right. I've had enough of this. It's ugly. It's boring. And it should have been part of the other boring, ugly game.